Hello everyone, Swaroop here. Welcome to this video. So in this video, we'll talk about the JDK version that we need to use uh, uh, going forward. So many of the existing projects uh, uh, might be using Java JDK 8 uh, installed in their system. So the existing infrastructure uh, which is available in the projects or if we are practicing something in our local, right? So most of us might be using JDK 8. So if you are using Selenium, TestNG, Jenkins, so we should start using uh, Java 11 or uh, higher versions. So we'll go through some of the important updates in this video. So uh, make sure you watch the video till the end. So selenium.dev is the official website. So there is a recently one of the latest blog that is published in selenium.dev. So Java 8 support is going to end uh, for Selenium going forward after uh, September 30th. So we should start using Java 11, which is the minimum version supported by Selenium. So here, if you see in this blog, uh, Selenium will stop supporting uh, Java 8 on September 30th. So this applies to both Java bindings and the Selenium grid. So if we are using the Java, uh, binding Selenium web driver uh, to write the code that also we need to update. And if you are using the Selenium grid in your local also or in any cloud infrastructure, so wherever we are using this, so we should upgrade our Java version to minimum Java 11. So this is because of existing issues that there is uh, uh, having in the HTTP client. So in order to overcome these issues, they need to we need to be updating into Java 11. So this is the minimum requirement. So the minimum requirement is Java 11. So actually the plan for Selenium is they want us to move to Java 17. But the problem is that many people are still in Java 8, their existing infrastructure. So they want to give some time. So currently we are in June month. So until September 30th, we have around three months time now so that uh, whoever is working on Java 8 in any real time projects. So they can update all their infrastructure to Java 11. So they give an early notice now. So, but in future, there is a possibility of uh, moving to Java 17. It can happen in next six months or maybe nine months. So there will be a new uh, announcement uh, from Selenium team. So let's see TestNG. So TestNG is a testing framework. So if you are using the latest version of TestNG, we should be using the JDK 11 or higher. So MVN repository is the uh, remote repository for Maven, right? So if you see the dependencies for TestNG, so the latest version is 7.8.0. If you see the official website, JDK 11, we should start using from version 7.6.0. So the latest version that is available for TestNG libraries is 7.8.0. So 7.6 onwards, we should start using the JDK 11. So Selenium we have discussed it and TestNG also we have discussed it. So whoever is using the older versions like JDK 8, we should start using the JDK 11 or higher versions. And let's see Jenkins also. There is some important updates regarding Jenkins. So Jenkins also requires Java 11 or newer versions installed in the system in order to use the Jenkins uh, software in the local or in any infra call in any company's cloud infrastructure, right? So if you see Jenkins 2.357 requires Java 11. So here they are saying uh, this, this blog is little old, like around one year back this was written. So if you see this, uh, if you want to take the latest version, uh, which is specified here, Jenkins 2.346.1 LTS. LTS is long-term support. So Jenkins also requires Java 17, if you want to use the long-term support version. So the minimum requirement is Java 11 for Jenkins, but uh, if you want to use the latest uh, long-term support one, uh, we should be having, uh, Java 17. So even Selenium also, uh, they are recommending to upgrade from Selenium, uh, Java 8 to Java 11. 
and in the near future uh, we have to upgrade to java 17 so this is the official website for java oracle website which is having the roadmap for java jdk releases if you scroll down and see on this page if you see the jdk 8 so jdk 8 extended support is still uh, december 2030 premier support is ended last year itself march 2022 and all the remaining versions here uh, java 9 java 10 these are not uh, long term support releases so the support is not at all available if you see the java 11 long term support is there there is support until september 2023 this is the premier support and until se september 2026 there is an extended support but there there may not be regular uh, bug fixes or any issues resolution will take time premium support means immediate response will be there so all these different versions in between 11 to 17 all these are not long term releases so java 17 is having the long term support so until september 2026 we have the premier support and extended support is still september 2029 and if you see uh, java 21 is coming up uh, which will be released in september 2023 in this year and uh, till 2028 there will be premier support 2031 will have the extended support so i personally recommend uh, at least have the java 11 in your system and uh, if you are fine you can have the java 17 also so that uh, all the three selenium also if you are using it will work testng also will work and even the jenkins also so make sure you upgrade your uh, java 8 to java 11 jdk 11 in your system otherwise if you don't upgrade uh, the applications will not respond properly and it may not compile also in your system so make sure you upgrade uh, upgrade to jdk 7 jdk 11 or uh, if it is fine you can also upgrade to jdk 17 so if you start using jdk 17 then uh, until next three to five years there won't be any issue as of the information that we saw in the different blocks now right so that's it for this video thank you